Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everyone, Michael Posnick, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent, marketing your property socially and globally. Today I'm not going to be doing a property, today I'm going to have a pet peeve, and which I usually don't do against other real estate agents, but I have to say, shame on you. Uh, I just picked up a listing from another agent that's probably had his license for, I don't know, six, seven, eight, ten years. Been in business for 30. Uh, you know, lists this house in a, in a prime area. Walks in. He's worked with this girl for decades, so I'm told. What relevance that has, I don't know. Uh, so he lists the house, says, well, what do you want for it? And, of course, the vendor says, well, I want... Blah, blah, blah. Let's just say, hypothetically, 140. So he just writes up the listing contract for $140,000 and the property sits there for a year with not one showing. Shame on you. Point of the finger. I cannot believe that experienced agents are still doing this. I know why they do it. I have my theories. Either it's to get the listing, to avoid controversy. Everyone thinks their house is worth more than it is. Uh, you don't want to lose the listing, so you give them a high number, and 10 years later you can keep reducing the price back to where it should be. But what I say is shame on you and point of the finger, because you've just wasted a year of this vendor's time. Because the fact is, after I talked to her, interviewed her, found out why she went with the other agent, I also asked her what data uh, and information she had seen to evaluate her house. Big fat zero. And uh, that's not the way to go. I mean, when I list a house, I don't give a price. I will show you what has sold. I will show you what is active, your competition. We'll look at the tax assessment. We'll look at building costs, lot costs, land costs. We'll look at a half a dozen other things. If it's commercial real estate, there's a whole other pile of variables and different ways to approach the situation. But at the end of my meeting, and I don't care if it takes me five minutes or five hours, it's completely up to you. I have lots of patience. You're going to be completely satisfied that you know what your property is realistically worth. So when another agent comes in and says, I can get you blah, 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 four times the value, you can say to that agent, well, I've got all the data here, you know, that Michael brought by, and, and that's not what the, what the market's telling us. The difference being this house was listed for a year, not one showing. I showed the vendor the, the data. She is a very smart woman. She looked at it and said, this is where the price should be. We agreed. Put it on the market at that price. We've had four showings or more in the last week. Chances are it will be sold within the first 90 days. If your agent is not showing you the data, ask for the data. If you want to put some silly price on it and hope some sucker comes along, you go ahead. It's not my business plan. Uh, you'll be sitting there for quite a few years, and then at the end of those few years, statistically speaking, that property is going to sell for what the initial data showed. People are not fools. They're looking at the data just like I look at the data. There's 10 houses for 100 grand, and yours is 250. Guess which one's not going to sell? Uh, that concludes my episode on setting the price. Remember, agents, whether you have six months experience or 60 years, take the time to go through the numbers. We all have the same data. It's much more professional as well. Thank you very much for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, michaelshomeshd.com, and my weekly newsletter, which includes PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps, and new listings. And if you're looking for an agent with more data than, than you can shake a stick at, I've got so much paper, look at michaelsadvantages.com. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You demand, boy, you demand.